Well, that's a good safety from Marco Fu. Caught it a little bit thick. And just as I was bigging him up about the safety, he makes a mess. Be interested to see how Fu gets on this evening. He's not had a good season. This is the ninth ranking event he's played in, and he's yet to reach a last 16. That's the stage he's looking to get to here today. He got to the quarterfinals of the China Championship, but that's an invitation event. He's a big favourite to win, but he's still got to do it. We've seen enough upsets to know it won't be straightforward. And as I say, the Masters cut-off is after this tournament. He's 15th at the moment. Now, the way it stands at the moment, he'll be the top 15 who get in, because Ronnie O'Sullivan, I know he's still going in this event, but he's outside the top 16, but he's the defending champion at Ali Pali. So, at the moment, it's him plus the next 15, and Marco is 15th. So, important tournament. It's just looking on Meiji Wing, seeing what damage it's going to cost him. That poor safety. Well, could have played for numerous reds there. Marco Fu decided to try and play for the red just above the black. But making contact with the red has left him with this tricky red to the middle. Eight. <clears throat> when he's at his best, he's such a heavy scorer, Fu. So, as I say, it'd be interesting to see if that's the game he can produce this evening. He uh, withdrew from the Champion of Champions tournament. He hadn't played well at all the week before. China Championship. In fact, he didn't look well against Sean Murphy. Went 5-0 down, just couldn't put anything. And I think he was unwell, so that would explain why he then withdrew from the next event. But on the all-time centuries list, he's in seventh position with 420. So his game, his best game, is built around scoring. Yes, he's had four maximums. Well, 420 century breaks, and you would have thought that he would have won more than a couple of ranking events. Certainly good enough to. Yes, well, it's worth uh, remembering, of course, he came very close to getting to the world final. Last season, just lost out in that epic 17-15 to Mark Selby in the semis. And what a match that was, wasn't it? Well, talk about hard fought. Couldn't have given it any more. Yes, he tried to play on that red a couple of shots ago. Didn't quite get on it. Didn't really get on it as he would have liked then. But he has this black. That's the style of Marco Fu. Could have gone better. Tricky red to the middle. 25. 26. They've played twice before, and Marco Fu has won both of them. Yes, and he's only lost two frames so far th in this tournament. Beat Josh Boylu 6-2. Rory McLeod, who's always tough to beat, 6-0. And he's well, that's a good sign. Potting those kind of blues and getting good position. 31. Yes, and it's uh, important for him to really get on top of his opponent who's not used to the TV tables and the big occasion. If 
Fu can just assert himself early on, then he can really dominate the match, as he did against McLeod. Yeah, he doesn't really want to get involved in the safety play, Marco Fu, because, as I said, I think Meiji Wen is pretty good in that department. Much rather win with big breaks, one visit stuff. Easy to say, isn't it? Needs a big bounce. 40. And that will do nicely. He spied something on the white ball. Just having it cleaned by Brendan Moore. We saw Fu get to the quarterfinals last year. Played an extraordinary match with Liang Wenbo, who started with three centuries. That was 3 0 to Liang. But Fu took him the distance. All the way to a decider. The heavy score in these days is incredible. Uh, Fergal O'Brien the other day had five centuries. And that's still only 165 against Barry Hawkins. 53. Yeah, all the players are bringing one another on, aren't they? Because they know that they have to play so well to win the events. Well, he had a little bit of side on but not really enough to finish nicely on the black. I'm not sure if he can get the cannon to the pink here. Not even trying to. Just played into the reds and hope for a good kiss. And that wasn't very good. He's gonna need a good shot here to keep the break going and try and win the frame at this visit. That's a good sign for Marco Fu fans. It's been a good break, this. He just, as you see, needs this red to leave Meiji Wen requiring snookers, but he doesn't want to give him table time. That's the key thing here. Keep him away from the table in this first frame. Yeah, we saw the importance of that, didn't we, this afternoon with Ronnie O'Sullivan. 68. Yes, he came back O'Sullivan to play at the end of the first frame after Michael Giorgio put together a couple of good breaks, and it was a good decision. Seventy-three. 74. Yes, he's striking the ball very well, and he's inch perfect with his positional play. 79. Got a safe red on that left side cushion that he's going to have to try and bring into play if he wants to make the century break. Could have tried to bring it into play there. It'd have been on the red below the pink. 87. 88. Very nicely done. 95. So it's going to be Marco Fu's third century of this year's UK Championship. What a brilliant start. Really nicely made break.
103. <coughs> this is what's known as hitting the ground running. Yes, it's also called punishing your opponent when he makes a mistake. Meiji Wing just had that one shot. Could have took the long red on. He could have even tried to clip the red in. But he chose to play safe. And this is the result. 115. Beautifully constructed break. It'll be a total clearance with this black. Marco Fu off and running in fine style here in York this evening. A 128 total clearance to take the opening frame. That's pretty ruthless stuff for the man from Hong Kong. Marco Fu then already leading Meiji Wen here in York by one frame to nil.